everyone and welcome back to Big on Healing. My name is Mpoh Mugwena and on this channel we explore the mind, the body as well as the spirit. I take it that you have watched the last three episodes on, on this channel and so you have an idea and you know and or you know that we are going for a podcast like feel for the rest of march there's a couple of days left in march so i can still upload a few more of these this one now is a cool down you know after you've exercised uh you ran you're coming back you go for a stretch or you just did like some crazy workout session and then they have a cool down session or you are in a webinar and they have a takeaway session where they basically summarize all the things that you learned in the webinar. So this is something like that, just a cool down, you know, touching base, seeing if we're on the same page in the same book type of vibe. And also wanting to hear what you have been experiencing um, over, the, over the past three episodes in yourself. And yeah, because I've been experiencing some things. Um, is that my stomach? If you hear my stomach, just know that I just ate. So you might hear some digesting. <laughs> but it's basically just taking um, some time to cool down. Because normally we want to jump from one activity to the next. Which I do, you know. And I realized how that feels in my body guys you know after i did the, the coffee anyone episode just scripting for it and then recording it and uploading it i swear i can tell when i'm going 250 kilometers per hour like i feel it in my mind and my body feels like it's playing catch up it feels like i'm outside of my body um instead of being inside of it you know like radiating from outside i feel like i'm bringing in energy from outside and that's not really what i want what i want is to radiate out you know i i want to radiate from source and i know that source is within me and radiates from that place um, because i feel like the danger is if i'm radiating I'm getting energy from outside then outside perspective is what will matter the outside environment is what will matter and then change how I feel it will have a greater um, standing than me radiating from inside of myself I hope I'm making sense but literally just by scripting for the coffee anyone episode and slowing down in that episode i can tell when i'm going fast so now it's a matter of okay you know you're going fast what are you going to do about it and one of the things i've noticed is that when i'm by the kettle i'll remember how many steps it takes me to get to the kettle refill it and then boil the water you know and have access to boiling water with ease and just by remembering the number of steps that it takes me to get boiling water with ease, I remember how it feels to be at ease. I remember that there are so many things in my life that I get with ease that I don't really have to put in effort in everything that I do to be this great and successful person. And eventually, by putting all that effort in, burn out. You know, I want to be able to just go with the flow in an amazing way where I am connected and I'm aligned so that not everything feels like effort. I like a lot of efforts. Now, I'm not saying don't work hard, you know, I'm not saying don't put in efforts. <laughs> what I'm saying is sometimes when we were exerting so much effort into things, we end up not enjoying them. Um, and this is what I heard a lot today from someone, you know, who's doing, he's putting a lot of effort into getting something done and he's ending up not enjoying the process, you know, not finding the gold of what he's doing or seeing his own magic. Um, and I think a lot of us experience this and I want to experience myself. I want to experience my own magic. Don't you, don't you want to experience your own magic? Like when people tell you, oh my goodness, you're so amazing. You did so well in that thing. 
like wow you know like you did so well in that thing you're already on to the next thing or you don't even notice you didn't even notice before someone else told you i want to be able to look at something i created and be like damn you did that thing you you got it there and when other people are like oh my goodness you're doing so well i'm just like thank you i appreciate you um for validating that yes mara i already knew guti no man me na just myself i did the thing you know that confidence and so the scripting for that episode yeah coffee anyone it really it really did do something for me um it sh- it showed me the unconscious parts of myself which i really appreciated and i'm really keen to find out what parts of yourself you know did it show to you um so let me know in the comment section this is a short one you know a takeaway uh, a brief little sum up of what we did and yeah i'm so excited for how this is going to work um and just uh you guys yo i wish you could like see my face <laughs> oh it just oh, i'm feeling so good ah oh, feels so good it feels so good just to be at ease and that walk those number of steps to the to the kettle they remind me they're a nice reminder that i can tap into and you know what I, i guess that will change over time maybe i won't feel ease by the number of steps that it takes me to get boiling water i'll find it in something else but it's always a good start you know you all have to start somewhere we all start with 000 so i'm excited for the journey and just to enjoy the process you know with its challenges that's the perspective of my life i know that there are going to be challenges of course that's i'm going to grow within those challenges i'm not oblivious to that i'm fully aware of that Mara, I want to enjoy myself in the process and if I am crazy doing it, if I look crazy or sound crazy or it just doesn't seem normal, then I am happy then that means I'm doing something right. I'm doing something absolutely correct and I will stick with it. Absolutely. So know that if that's how you feel feeling crazy as you go through your process, I am with you. This is a community of crazy people because we do crazy things to ensure that we enjoy our experiences. Okay? Okay. I hope that sounded nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Enjoy the rest of your week, guys. Let me know. Let me know um what did you see in yourself? Um let's reflect with each other. I really appreciate you for bringing your presence. I appreciate your presence here. I appreciate you showing up, sharing the content. I appreciate you liking and to the new subscribers, hello, hello, hello. Oh, so I'm, I'm greeting you guys in the end. But if you made it to the end, no, not even but because you made it to the end, I'm sending you all the loves and kisses and um I'm always sending good vibes. So, just thank you for joining the community. and i'm um, always radiating love peace and prosperity to you my name is mpom kwena this is big on healing it cuz buy a leaf for you guys my africans is not good but them i tried to la bopa